Let's talk about amplifiers, or not. So today we're talking about amplifiers, but first, there's something you need to know. In the last few episodes, you've only heard half the story. We've only talked about audio signals, but there's something else. Control Control voltage. voltage. What distinguishes control voltage from audio signals is that audio signals are in your final output. They're heard directly. Whereas control voltage is behind your final output. It's moving parameters silently. So while you hear the frequency changing in this patch, you're not hearing the signal that's changing it. You're only hearing the result. The act of moving parameters remotely with control voltage is called modulation. While we treated oscillators and filters as generators and modifiers of audio signals, we could have treated them as generators and modifiers of control voltage as well. For oscillators, this would mean an LFO, or a low-frequency oscillator. For a filter, this would likely mean a slew limiter, which is a type of filter that limits the rate of change of a control voltage signal. We'll discuss both of those further in future episodes, but you might be wondering why now? Why are we talking about control voltage in an episode on amplifiers? Well, while oscillators and filters perform slightly different functions in the audio and CV domains, Amplifiers do the exact same thing in both. They modify the amplitude of a signal, any signal. In the last episode, I mentioned that amplification is an increase in a signal's amplitude, and that attenuation is a decrease in a signal's amplitude. Amplifiers are actually somewhat misnamed. They don't only amplify. In fact, they mainly attenuate signals. Amplification brings with it certain risks. When you amplify a signal, you're also amplifying any noise contained in that signal. You also run the risk of going beyond the maximum output or input of one of your components, which causes distortion. The maximum signal level is known as your headroom, and the resulting distortion is known as clipping. Imagine you're walking down a hallway. If the hallway is wide, you can walk freely. If the hallway is narrow, you have to adjust to fit through. You might tuck in your shoulders or angle. Clipping works the same way. Anything beyond your allotted headroom is cut. If it's a jagged cut, it's known as hard clipping, and it can sound quite abrasive. If it's a smooth cut, it's known as soft clipping, and this can be quite pleasant to hear. Soft clipping creates additional harmonics in a signal, called saturation. Here's what that sounds like. Once we go past 12 o'clock on the mixer, the signal starts to saturate. We can go even further by adding feedback. Amplifiers, or VCAs, are highly contextual. So while you now have the basic concepts, it might not make as much sense until you see it in a practical application. In the next few episodes, we'll be dealing with control voltage and modulation. And you'll see cases where a VCA is controlled by the output of another VCA. And that VCA is controlled by the output of yet another VCA. These chains of amplifiers are hard to conceptualize abstractly, but they make a lot of sense when you see them in context. Until then, if you like the video and want bonus tutorials, support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash thatbeat. This week we're using VCV Rack to throw additional clarity on some of the concepts in this episode. As always, I'm That Beat, and this has been Synth Fundamentals. Thanks for watching.